Hey everybody, welcome to Big D, Big D Models. Uh, today's video is just going to be a quick update on where I'm at with the uh, uh, GMC Snowplow Pickup Edition. Uh, I'm going to customize this. Uh, so far, this is what I got going on. Uh, I scratch built this toolbox back here for the truck, as you can see. Um, I'm going to go with the dualies on the back, and I do have it lifted a little bit more. Uh, I got the engine in mock-up. Here's where I'm at with the motor. That's uh, not quite done yet. I still have a bunch of detail to do yet. Um, I just have this basically just sitting on the frame here. Let me give you a quick little tour if I can without this all falling apart. I got an air tank on back. Uh, that was from another kit. I did some uh, kit bashing for that. And uh, let's see here, I got a little uh, air hose sitting back there. Uh, I got a bigger um, exhaust. I did some uh, better exhaust. I wasn't happy with the exhaust that I had. So that's where we're at with the exhaust. Uh, I tried the other tires that came with it, and they were good. They look good, but man, these dualies really sell it, you know? And uh, this is where I'm at with the with the build so far. I'm being careful because it's just tacked together. Nothing's really glued down or nothing. Uh, I still have a ton of work to do, and I just thought I would shoot you a quick video about where I'm at with it, where I'm going. Uh, I still have some coilovers I got to put on here, both front and back. Uh, if I can get in there really tight here, let me see if I can get in there a little bit tighter. Yeah, it's about it here. Uh, I will be adding the uh, snow plow. I'm going to beef up the snow plow as well. Uh, right here, the motor. It, it, the the motor is coming along pretty good. So this is where I'm at with the build. And uh, this model is going to be lit. I got some LEDs. I got some SMD LED lights. And uh, not only is this uh, toolbox scratch built, but it's going to, if I can pull this off without knocking everything over, let's see if I can do it. Can I do it? Nah, I can't do it. All right. Well, it's a little crooked, but uh, the way it's going to work, the battery is going to sit right back here, and then the toolbox... I don't know if I can put this back on. It's going to be the cover. It'll sit in there. I got it measured out. But like I said, it's all tacked together. So I don't want to start pushing stuff down and making it fall like a house of cards. Uh, I still got some work to do. But my 9 volt fits back there just perfect. Uh, and this does cover it. You know what? Let me pull this off here so I can really show you how this is going to work here. Okay. Because I think you as uh, subscribers, you guys need to know how this is going to work. I'm sorry, that was all off frame here. I'm trying to work with one hand. So it is a handicap. Bear with me here. So this, you know, all of a sudden now it don't work because I'm using a camera, right? Ain't that the way it goes? See, it was working just like 2.2 seconds ago. I'm knocking everything over for you guys, and you're thinking, yeah, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. There you go. See, it fits. Bob's your uncle. Okay. Well, he's not really your uncle. I don't know if he's your uncle. He might be. I don't know. But anyway, there's the toolbox. It fits good. Uh, the air tank is there. And then when you want to switch out your batteries, you just pull this off, and then you got your battery sitting back there, and you put it right back on. So this is my scratch built toolbox. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep this on there. I got it painted, weathered, uh, like it's been through some you know heavy usage here. I didn't worry about putting a latch on there. Uh, quite frankly, I don't want to do anything else to it. It sells the the model just as is, but it's scratch built. If you look in here, you can actually see how I scratch built this here. Let me get a little bit better light on it. So that you can see what I did here. Um, if you've seen the corner, that is square tubing styrene. Okay? That's all that is. It's square tubing all the way around. 
and I squared it up and I glue and I made the frame first okay so all those little pieces of square tubing styrene that's just square styrene and then I covered it with a uh, plate with diamond plate it's not real diamond. it's the plastic uh, styrene di uh, diamond plate and I dropped it but that's okay you guys get the picture all right uh, that's where I'm at with the model <laughs> I'm all thumbs tonight and uh, here's you know actually since that's off you can get a better look of where where I'm at here on the back bed and that's where I'm at so we're going from that to this I'm gonna beef up the snow plow and hopefully uh, get this done within the next couple of three or four weeks okay guys this is Big D at Big D models and remember if this makes you want to get your model on smash that like button Drop me a comment. You know, I'm open to all comments. I mean, you guys have been so helpful uh, with a lot of your comments. And like I said, I'm still a newbie at this. And I take your words of wisdom to heart. I listen to what you say and I apply that in my technique. So please keep the comments coming. I do appreciate them. Whether you're correcting me or you're thanking me, I appreciate it all. I really do. Uh, once again, this is another book. I got my LEDs, SMDs, uh, and I'm going to power it with a little 9 volt. I'll put a little kill switch on there somewhere. But that's where I'm at with the uh, bed and the truck so far. I do have it lift, or I do have it lifted. I don't know if I showed you the lift on this yet. Uh, right there, there's the lifts. I got the lifts painted, and it sits up pretty good. All four tires, and it is a rolling chassis. So, uh, I made sure it was a rolling chassis. Everything is uh, coming together beautiful for this model. Okay, guys, so have fun, keep modeling, and remember, if this makes you want to get your model on, smash that like button. All right, peace out.